Good morning, teachers and friends. Today, I am going to recite a poem, The Prophet, by K. Sachitandri. The poem is written on the memory of the famous Russian writer, Fyodor Dostoevsky. The Prophet Fyodor this was your last hell. I can see you sit in this dim lit room, meditating on man's destiny on earth. The lean and handsome Jesus stands behind your chair, listening to the lively music. Your pen plays on paper. He watches Ivan Kalamazo dancing in the fire between fate and doubt. On your fingertips, life is burnt. The immortal blood of sacrifice mingles with your untamable mortal blood. Fear all. You kept flying between coffin-like rooms and symmetry-like corridors. As if haunted by a ghost, you saw the poor crushed everywhere by walls. Walls Fences, alleys, narrow courtyards, no roofs. You feared even the sky would descend and the trees would close you in like prison bars. Unpaid depths and headless phantoms never left you in peace. Fear thought. I saw the prison cell at Semiano Square, where for four years you waited for death. I could see you pulling carts loaded with stones and waiting blindfolded for the bullets. You recognized your life's mission. The, the moment you were called back to life, those rays swung beyond the sun that fell on you then. Were they from God or from Satan? What drowned you in the end were not bullets fear all, but the whirlwinds of your own nerves and the high tides of your own veins. The infernal proliferation of the voices and images. Or burn to yourself, Ayosha, Mithya, Ivan, Raskolniko, or were you Arkady, Verkhovinki, Petrovich, Stavrojan, Devushkin, the Silo? And the saint, the drunkard and the prophet, the lover and the rebel. You always walked along the razor sharp edge in sleepless nights, seated between your departing friend and your dying beloved, between the last cry. Of your darling daughter and the farewell pain of your dearest friends. You heard the sacred words of prophets break like collarbones under the twin steels. You walked away to save love as if it were a baby. To be retrieved from the hound's sharp teeth. You resign like a recluse 
finding that it was not love but hatred united men. It was death. Death who gambled with you, staring at you, grinding his teeth. Your dream was blue. Blue was a death that choked you. Blue was a water that drowned you. Blue was a fire that burnt you. Blue heaven, blue Jesus. Here between us, unable to cross, to reach each other. Thank you.